Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my November TBR for 2016. I only have a total of three books for this month. Because your girl overachieved last month and only read one book, technically two, but one was like 80 pages, so does it really count? No! So your girl doesn't want to be an overachiever this month and feel like a failure, so we're going with three books that aren't that big, but we'll see how it goes. So without further ado, let us get started! The first book is Updrift by Erin Stevens, and I've actually already started it. I'm about 40 pages in, and this is actually a book that I'm going to be part of a tour for. So I will have a video up on November 16th, so you guys can check out my thoughts on this book. But it is the first book in the Mare Chronicles, and it follows Kara and Kate Sweeting. Since the death of her father, Kate's life has kind of been in an uproar. And that is when her mother and she decide to move down near the shores. Kara ends up becoming the town's librarian and Kate spends most of her time trying to figure out the mysterious Blake family who live down near the beach. Kara meets the man of her dreams who is part of the Blake family and he's kind of mysterious. He doesn't really tell her what his intentions are with her and Kate kind of turns a blind eye and lets her mother be happy for a while. Kate decides that she is going to take action and find out what is so mysterious about the Blake family and so she goes charging into the waters. That's where she finds Gabe Blake and somebody a little less nice than Gabe waiting for her. By the time Kate navigates her way home, everything has changed for her. She needs to decide what she is willing to risk in order to be with the man she loves. So it's a mermaid story. So far, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. It's a bit confusing, so we'll see what I think of it when I'm done it. But I'm hoping you two like it. We'll see, and you guys can check out my review on November 16th. Yeah! The next book I'm hoping to read for the month of November is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. October, November for me is kind of like, I want to read lots of spooky books because it's kind of like, you know, that feel of autumn, you just gotta read the spooky books, which I mean, I read spooky books like most of the time anyways, but you know, it's an excuse for me to read more. I read Dark Places by Gillian Flynn and I loved it, so I'm hoping that this is kind of like similar. This book follows Camille Parker who had a brief stay at a psych ward and after she gets out, she gets a job at a second-rate day paper, and her first assignment is to cover the murders of two preteen girls. As she tries to uncover the secrets that lie beneath this murder, she realizes that she relates a little bit too much to the two preteen girls, and it hits a little bit too close to home. Because of this, Camille has to confront what happened to her years ago, and it's basically her story, and I'm just very excited. It sounds super, like, thrilling and creepy and right up my alley, so hopefully I actually get to this one. I have to read Updress first and then this is the one that I'm going to go to next. The final book I'm going to try to read for the month of November is Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll. And I just love this cover. I found it at the thrift store and I was just like, I need it in my life. But it also sounds very interesting. The tagline is, her perfect life is the perfect lie. And I just... It sounds so cool. This book follows Annie Finelli, and as a teenager at a very prestigious school, she experiences something very humiliating that makes her want to reinvent herself. Now, many years later, she has basically the perfect life she envisioned for herself, but she also has a secret. So there's something else that's kind of hidden beneath Annie's perfect life, and it might all come to the surface and ruin everything she's worked so hard to achieve. So she doesn't know if breaking her silence will set her free or ruin everything, and it's basically the story of that. So I'm very excited. I'm kind of hoping that it's like a murder kind of thing or like a mental health thing. I don't know if it's going to be. I guess we'll see. But I'm very excited for it. But I probably won't get to it realistically because school. But, you know, your girl can hope and dream that she's going to read this month. We'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so that was my November TBR. I'm hoping to get through the three books. Will it happen? Probably not, as I've said. But we'll see how it goes. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.